Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I have some Daiso UV resin kits. And for those of you that don't know, Daiso is a dollar store or 100 yen store here in Japan, but I believe they've gone pretty global. Let me know if there is a Daiso in your country and how much they charge for their items because I know in America I think it's a dollar fifty per item, something like that. Anyway, I am going to start with the bear kit here. They were ranked one star, two star, three star, like difficulty level. So this was the one star one. And so my goal for this video was to kind of elevate each kit and make it more than just, you know, a dollar store kit or, you know, exactly the same as the example because with kits, you know, that's obviously the easiest thing to do and also is perfectly fine because if you're a beginner, that's a good way to practice. But anyway, I am making some pastel resin here. I love these opaque pigments. They are so pretty. Very kind of eastery colors. Anyway, I'm going to do kind of a... Mm, I want to call it tie-dye, but it's not even really tie-dye, just, you know, a pastel blend here. And I'm dabbing, I'm popping some bubbles, and we're going to give it a cure. Now, going a little bit off topic here, but my UV lamp that I use in the video is a 6 watt UV lamp and actually does not give a solid cure. It's good for making layers and attaching items and stuff, but I always use my 36 watt UV resin lamp when I want to get my final, you know, solid cure. But you can also put your UV resin out in the sun, you know, because UV rays, for about 30 minutes to an hour to get that, you know, finishing cure. I get that question a lot because I use the little lamp in this video, and all of my videos actually. It's because it's easy to use around the camera, and I do use it like this when I'm making multiple layers and stuff. But off camera, I do throw everything into my big lamp. Moving on to the next kit, this is a cat moon kit, and the design is very pretty, but it's pretty much just decals in resin, and while I do pretty much end up making the same thing, decals in resin, I did want to change it up a bit, and I don't know, I just wasn't really in love with the cat in the moon theme, and that theme does seem to be used a lot, and I get it, you know, cats, nighttime, it's, it's cute, it works. but. This time I wanted to go something a little more brighter. I started with this yellow, which kind of looks a little bit more orangish, but we're gonna call it yellow. And I was gonna do a clear to yellow gradient, but ended up doing the pink. And I think it turned out well. I do wish I had put another drop of pigment in because it turned out really light. But I don't know, it gives it kind of like a candy look. And just dabbing in here. I really like the using these rings to make jewelry design. It's all over the place. You can make earrings, necklaces, you can make a donut shape out of it. You can do like the moon or crescent shape like this. But yeah, I really like this. It makes really nice dainty jewelry. Anyway, my gradient is done. And I have the little decals here. These took forever to cut out. But I managed and I only you know, destroyed a few in the process. But anyway, we are going with butterflies instead of a cat because, you know, butterflies and moons, they go together so much better. Not really, but I <laughs> did like the color scheme here. The black cat just seemed a little too dark, kind of, maybe, I don't know. I'm just trying to say things now. But anyway, I did add some stars. They didn't show up too well, so I did use the glitter that was in the kit. I wasn't going to at first, but I think it did kind of bring everything together. I was worried it was going to be almost too glittery and strong, but I think it worked out. As I said, I'm repeating myself because I'm running out of things to say. Anyway, we're doming the back here. I added some glitter. I almost wish I didn't. It was a little overpowering. thought it was going to be nice texture. I should have just touched up the pink a little. But let me know what you think, if you like this design or the original cat design better. Finally, we have the UV Resin Perfume Bottle Kit, and it came with a mold, glitter, and the decals, and for a dollar, I'd say that's a great deal. Now, on the decal here, it says Pigeon. I don't know who would use that, but maybe there are huge pigeon fans out there. 
that like perfume bottles too. I don't know. Interesting combination. But anyway, I am doing the first layer, putting the decals in, and that's going to be the front of the bottle. Now, I didn't really like the kind of pink metallic -y glitter that came with the kit, so I'm using my own, I believe. I received these in my P.O. box when you guys sent them to me. And this one was really, really pretty. It was a purple kind of chunky iridescent glitter mix. And this one, I think this one's actually for nails, but works perfectly fine. Was a little more blue than I like, so added some purple, added some purple into the chunky mix as well. And now I'm going to fill it in. Now we want it to have the illusion or look that it is full on the bottom and empty in the top, so kind of making a gradient here. I'm going to fill in the top with clear resin and then I overmixed it. That's something I always do, like I need to stop touching the resin, but I didn't, so it's not as clear on top as I would have liked it, but it turned out okay. And here are all the other pieces. What do you guys think? I really love how the bear turned out. It's my favorite. Anyway, that's all for today. Let me know if you would like to see me do more kits in my style, I guess. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!